Hello again and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing off a mod, what this mod can be used for, and um, how to make what's in the mod. Um, this mod is the floodgate mod, and I use it here in my wheat farm. So, I'll basically just give a demonstration of the wheat farm first. So we press the button. come down here and there you go wonderful wheat <laughs> and of course because of the 1.5 update you now get the seeds with them which makes this even more viable so we'll just wait for this to come to I'll um, yeah just sit here. Ooh. Digging, down, down, down. I am currently using the John Smith HD texture pack with better grass on. I'm just waiting for all of this to come down. Do we have enough space? This is on my legit world, by the way. Um, and I only ever use mods on my legit world if they don't give you any, you know, items like making it easier for obsidian to grow and stuff. Um, I think I'll dump the feathers there, saplings, saplings. I'll just collect the rest of the stuff. I think that's all of it. Okay, so then um, press the button again. And you see that water there. That should then disappear. Oh, I'm hoping it to. Um, do I need to press the button again? We'll try pressing the button again. See if that works. Hope it does. Otherwise, I've done something wrong. Uh, Uh, hum. Oh no. Uh, there you go. There it goes. It's just taking its time. Okay, good. Um, right, so here is the floodgate. Right, this one here is the floodgate. If I left, no, right. Uh, yeah, I need to empty my hand to get rid of that wall and get rid of that. Then right click. You'll see that I've got it set to sand, and it will offset sand as well. So that's that block there. Um, this chooses where it is, and yeah, basically when redstone power goes towards it, like from this torch here, it will um, remove that block, and then so um, redstone power goes towards it, removes that block, and then the water goes. Uh, this wheat farm is very simple. Basically the water gets divided up using the fact that water will go both ways if it's in with in six blocks of each other so it will split up into two streams and then this little shape here means that it will spread out across the three. Um, Okay, so let's go down and see more of the wiring. Going to the lobster cool cores down. Uh, we'll also drop off some of this wheat. And all these wonderful seeds. Okay. Um, down here. Well, this is vertical wiring. I'm sure you understand that and this here is the T flip flop um, well basically a T flip flop when power comes through here switch to the RS and all action goes on so, but also sends a delayed message round to the AND gate and then when it comes through again it will 
reset the RS null latch. Um, down here we basically just had the drop for the water and then more bays. I couldn't be asked to measure it out properly so I just put signs here to block the water. Um, you could possibly use ladders there but I would advise against it because ladders do have a collision with them so an item could get stuck on um, on the ladder. Uh, what else? Um, oops. Um, this I'll put a link in the description for this mod and it, ha it requires mod loader as well both quite easy to install um, there will also be a link to the texture pack as well and yeah thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time